Anytime we have a chance to compete and go against a different color jersey, the guys know that it's time to flip the switch and time to just go out there and, and play ball. They really played their hardest and played for each other. And there's been one team, one sound, one heartbeat, and that's what I've been preaching all year, and that's what it's gonna be. This year, more than any year, it's just about hard nose, constantly on the grind. Have fun while you're doing it, but more like embrace the grind. Uh, I've been going to Woodward for 12 years, so it's been my home for a long time, and I think it's cool to step out on the field and represent my school and, frankly, my home as a student athlete. Energy, excitement, execution, all in one, all right? Everyone here, fight for each other, have each other's back. You guys got me? Yes, sir. Stay positive, keep working, put in the work. Our emphasis was family this year. We've really come together as a family, and we're starting to play good lacrosse. Whenever I step on the field or whenever I'm about my day, I'm representing Woodward, I'm representing the lacrosse team, so it's something you shouldn't take lightly. Patrick Cheney, I'm a defensive assistant coach, and this is my first year with Woodward. We have some grinders and we have some tough kids on this team that you see if you watch our games and you've seen if you've been on the other sideline. You've got a new coaching staff coming in, changing the culture, and they bought in and set the tone. Bigger, better, stronger. The sky's the ceiling. I've always looked up to the seniors when I was freshman. You just gotta set a good example, and when you're finally in those shoes, you just have to perform, and it's your last year to prove everything. But we got a lot of fight in us. Of course, like a championship off rip, that's the main goal, but every day I just get better, and every day I feel like we come one step closer to what we want to become. When the guys put on the jersey or when they're buckling up the chin strap and the WA's on the side of the helmet and the wood was across the chest, you're representing something bigger than yourself. You're representing the alumni. You're also representing the younger ones who are about to come up. So it's just truly understanding that what you're putting out on the field is a reflection of who you are as a person and, and how hardworking you really are. It's hard work, it's dedication, it's preparation. My teammates I've got, especially the other seniors, we've come together through so much, had a lot of tough games. I think it's so important that we've all come together no matter like what grade we are. As a senior or junior, you can always teach a younger kid something you know about the game they don't know. And when we leave here, we have something good that we left behind. Our game against Stars Mill it was 5-4, like a couple seconds left, they put one in, tied it up 5-5. In overtime, we came out with the win, one goal. Shout out Asa Jones and Zach Weiss coming up with the play. I think that was the first time we really played very good lacrosse as a team, and it all clicked in that game. The whole defense just did really well. Justin did really well. He came back and he just showed everyone he can play. I'll be attending Penn State next year, and I'm very excited. In terms of lacrosse, it's instilled within me a work ethic and a resiliency that I don't think I had previously. And in terms of Woodward, I think Woodward's prepared me academically to succeed wherever I go to school. The athletic program and the school have given me the tools to be successful. I've grew up in the area, I've coached in the area, so I've been on the other sideline from Woodward a lot, so it's nice to actually be on this side of it. I was lucky enough to coach a number of these kids when they were in middle school, and then I haven't gotten to share a sideline with them since seventh, eighth grade. Being on the sideline with them again, being in practices with them, getting to be around the parents again has been really special for me. I've gotten to see them go from 12, 13 year olds up to now a lot of these seniors are going off and going off to college, so from a personal standpoint, that's probably one of my favorite parts of the season. You'll 
you'll get results as long as you work as hard as you can and give everything you have. We've had a culture change for the better. A lot of people coming together on the team and rallying around ourselves, knowing that if we work together, we can win. Like I said before, it's one team, one sound, one heartbeat, and those, those seniors are really the definition of that because they truly bought into me as a person. I, I truly love them, and I want them to know that. I'll do whatever it takes to get this culture to where it needs to be, and these seniors, again, th this program means so much to me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get Woodward back to where it needs to be, so I'm gonna put my, my heart into it, my, my sweat, my tears, and I'm really passionate about the sport of lacrosse because it opened up so many doors for me, so Woodward Lacrosse, I love you, and just know that you have someone who's willing to go through brick walls for you. Firstly, just thank you. Thank you to my teammates for coming out every day, supporting me, supporting each other, embracing the grind and that championship mentality. Thank you to the coaches for supporting us through everything. I've had numerous conversations with Coach Terry about my future and where I'll be attending college, and that's meant a lot. And then to my parents, thank you for the opportunity to let me go to Woodward and be around all of these great people. The talent's here, the talent's been here. You know, this year, culture's been set. Same message applies to next year in 2023, is to go out there and hone your craft and be there for one another, play for one another, and just have fun while you're doing it.